Oh, that's Lily of the Valley. Walter Poison Brock. You! What? <laughs> What's up? We're here to watch more Breaking Bad. We're in the season finale of uh, season four. four. Then we're on to face off. Uh, Bob. Bob? Bob. <laughs> I, almost, I almost said Bob put Walter in his car. Um, <laughs> Walter put a bomb on Gus's car. Where we left off, Gus knew or like had a feeling that something was wrong. I read into it like a little while ago. I guess it just the whole hospital thing threw him off, which makes sense, with, especially with the child being poisoned. It's like, mm. and Jesse not giving a reasoning. Mm -hmm. I guess the whole thing just seemed off to him, which makes sense. But without further ado, face off, let's do it. Oh yeah, Walter's gotta retrieve his mom. He's gotta grab it real quick. <laughs> Imagine that goes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he brought the okay, bomb into Walter. a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that nurse is like, what? What did you say to Gus? Because he's on to us. He's walking to his car, then suddenly he is. And does he have some kind of sixth sense? Jesus, what did you say to him? Did you just bring a pop into a hospital? What? Was he supposed to leave it on his car? You're supposed to bring it to a hospital. <laughs> where can we find Gus? Same place. Name me one place where I could surprise him. Where he won't see me coming. Okay. Think, because if you can't tell me, you are dead. I don't know. Excuse me. Jesse Pinkman? Oh, man. Top cookie police? Thought I was Gus for a second in the suit. I was like, oh no. Oh, what? Sorry, sir, I didn't catch your name. Yeah, Walter, why'd you have to talk then? Uh, statement you made to his mother. We just want to clear a few things up. No big deal. Because he brought up the rice and they want to know how he knows about rice and... <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. Bam, 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 bam. Is this a hospital still? This is crazy. We're going to the station. Because all I basically said was that the doctors thought maybe Bach got poisoned. I'm sure they appreciated that. You helping him out like that. Especially with how specific you were, no. Rice, and that's definitely a big one. Who called the detectives? Did the hospital do Probably it? the hospital. I think they have to legally do that. Legally? Well, I mean, if Rice... I, don't know. I feel like it might be the same thing as a lawyer. Like... Because, it, because I mean, if the child's poisoned, I mean, I imagine they have to do something. They have to look into that. I imagine Andrea probably said that he said it. Yeah. And so got them got them curious. Because it's like the doctors, when they, uh, the kids have like uh, abuse marks on them they mm -hmm. have to call somebody okay yeah so i'm not on arrest but i can't leave i should call my lawyer jess don't call him jess they're so smug about it too they are i hate this bald guy <laughs> he looks like he made a mistake when he went <laughs> i feel like he look, looks look at his face. he has the eyebrows of someone who looks way better with hair that's my guy bomb 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 <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I need soul. I need him right now. That is a lot of class. Such a pain in my ass. You know that? Now, I gotta wait around all day for a plate glass guy to come and fix this door. And, and who pays for this? It's gotta be at least $1,700 there. Carries that much on him? That's crazy. <laughs> That's some Walter. I could use some, too. Or like this. And it costs way more than $1,700. Bet you it winds up costing $20,000. Crazy. <laughs> Milk him. <laughs> Milk him. <laughs> Becky, hi, it's Walter White out of town, and Junior just told us that he, he thinks he left the, the burner on, on the stove. Do you still have the key? That's crazy. So do you her in first? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> she ain't even using the cane. She's one of those people. I feel there's gonna be a jump scare. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? They look like DEA agents. They're Gus's goons. Oh, they're Gus's? Yep. Okay. Becky? Oh, that's good. That's a relief. Did Gus take his own money? Oh no. He's an honest man! Yeah. Hey yo! Hey yo! What? Mike's still out of uh, commission? Yo. Yeah. Put the vent pack on! Uh, fuck it. We jump. Nice. Tell him. I told him there are a couple of dicks. He's a wordsmith. Well, <laughs> he's a wordsmith. Get the hell out. <laughs> a part of me wants Saul Goodman to run into Matt Murdock. They fight over a client. They're a lot safer in here. They just try to get your partner in his own home. He's okay. Like a fruit fly's okay. You two want to go stick your wangs in a hornet's nest. It's a free country, but how come I always got to get sloppy seconds, huh? <laughs> it's a free country. 
Casa Tranquila. It's an old folks home off Paseo del Norte. Is it one of the patients? Someone Pinkman says you'll definitely remember. Ah. Once every blue moon, Gus goes and visits old cartel associate. Pinkman said it was like he was torturing the old guy. This Teal character once murdered someone close to him. Your enemies. Man, how is he gonna set this up though? Hey, remember me? <laughs> Listen, I know we hated each other, but. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> he just starts talking like Goodman. I know you despise me. I know a man whom you hate even more. I'm offering you an opportunity for revenge. Okay. Oh my god, that damn bell. I'd lose it. If I'd hear that all day, just someone just ding 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 ding. Yeah. A. E. In. Your mom. <laughs> I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. He just dabs at it. <laughs> yeah. oh, imagine. I... Man, imagine having to talk to people like this. I don't think we're finished, Mr. Salamanca. Dia in the word. D. Ah. Oh, he's gonna rat on him. That's crazy. Getting here. I gotta grind, kid. <laughs> I got a car wash. I like how it's like, I'm not on everyone's radar. It's like that meme, what are you doing? Nothing. Just hanging around. I like how they're all wearing sunglasses. Yeah. They're very suspicious. No woman wears those sunglasses. They'll wear cooler glasses. Bonnie, this size uh, typically has maybe half that, okay? I asked a bunch of electricians in their own chat rooms, you know, like where they talk about was miring. <laughs> he went to Reddit. Possibly have a lead on something. This guy down at the office says he has some kind of information. I'll only give it to you in person. Ah! Oh. Do you remember Hector Salamanca? Sure. Ah! That's crazy. Mr. Salamanca, you got something you want to tell me? That nurse is so terrified. Man. Now that nurse is probably just annoyed. Yeah. First letter S. Second letter U. Sus. A. E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> M. A. E. I. There's so many. <laughs> I like how like, all right. Get that out of your system now. Try this one more time. <laughs> I like how he's like, yes, please. F. U. C. It's to make <sighs> Gus worried. Okay. We may have a problem. Bad eyes in the DEA. Okay. <laughs> Just had a visitor. They don't know what he was talking about. Dude, Salamanca. Any second thoughts? Let's get to work. We haven't seen Jesse this entire episode. In the, uh, the little room. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> keep thinking that's, like, the last what? episode. The, yeah. What is that? I think for, like, cameras or listening in. Or oh, yeah. Like that. Maybe, like, the DEA set something in there to listen mm -hmm. in. He said, lady, shut up. <laughs> Think you're free to go. Tox screen came back. No ricin poisoning. Hmm. Till we meet again. Shut we'll up. Meet balls. again. Yeah. Right here. Damn, that's actually did not wait for him. Yep. As you're home, I'm heading back over. Oh, that's crazy. They don't even see. Nope. Okay. Respect up, Pinkman. What about Hector? It's just him. Alone. It's room. All right, I'm on my way. It's better if, uh, if I do this myself. I do this. Okay. Wants to take care of Hector himself. Yeah, his pride. Him and his professional clothing. Clothing. I wonder if he has like a specific clothing for death. Yeah. Or he's gonna kill him. <laughs> he has death drip. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what his death drip looks like. Uh, it's pretty good. It's all clear. He's got the funeral drip growing. Mm -hmm. How much time is left in the episode? Oh wow, we got a good chunk left. What kind of man talks to the DEA? No man. You know who does? A G. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> Do you think it was music? Yeah, I was like, what <laughs> soundtrack is this? <laughs> this shit bumping. Ah, yeah. oh, it's more ricin. Like a liquefied ricin. Mm -hmm. No powder. Last chance to look at me, Hector. That is a crazy practical <laughs> explosion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He 
he was evaporated. Yeah. That CGI was great. I read something that they got the makeup from uh, the Walking Dead creators, and they helped them. They had to perfect that for months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's not a money thing. That's a time thing. Yeah. As three people may have been killed. Oh, no. Now, the news is disturbing. We're going to get you more information on this. Just as He's just like, yes! I, I won! <laughs> Our hearts going out to the victims of this tragedy. Five, Aerosmith, Def Leppard. Hey, we got Def Leppard. <laughs> Let's go. To soundtrack of Gus's death. Oh, they forced him to go cook again. Well, I ain't gotta cook no more, baby. POV, you're the gallon of milk, <laughs> and my brother is dumping an unreasonable amount into the cereal bowl. Spike? You wanna cook with a broken arm? Cook with a broken arm. Bro, you have a gun. Just shoot him. <laughs> you got a problem with stairs? I don't need stairs. I shooted the stairs. I shooted them dead. Gus is dead. We've got work to do. We gotta cook. They're still cooking. They're like, ah, finally, we can get back to work. <laughs> now they're blowing up the place. Oh, they are going to blow up the place. Because Hank's already onto it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to prove Hank right. And both of their fingerprints are everywhere, too. Yeah. Imagine if they just kept cooking. They're like, ah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> now that the annoying guy's dead, we can finally <laughs> keep to our <laughs> art. Cooking. Hey, everyone might want to, like, leave. Yeah, it's time to get out, everybody. That was some good CGI fire. I don't think it was real. <laughs> That'd be funny, they just said fire. <laughs> Honestly, they c I mean, I guess they could. Mike wakes up. What happened while I was gone? He's gonna pull through. We love to see it. We do love to see it. Still saying it wasn't the rice. It most likely a flower called Lily of the Valley. Got these red berries on it. I guess it tastes sweet, and sometimes little kids eat them and wind up poisoning themselves. And that, that's it. They killed Gus on a whim. <laughs> Didn't poison him after all. He, uh, he had to go, right? Yeah. Damn right. Gus had to go. Hell yeah. What are you doing? I'm, uh. I just put a bomb in a nursing home. Gus Spring is dead. <laughs> Do you know about this? It's over. We're safe. Was this you? Yep. I won. I won. My drop. Well, that's where that meme comes from now. The I won meme. Me after finding the person who killed my dog in Minecraft, so I completely <laughs> obliterated his base and turned it into a giant crater. Going all the way to Bedrock. I won. <laughs> it actually happened on a server that me and Marty were on. <laughs> oh, really? I'll talk about it later. Yo. Oh, that's Lily of the Valley. Walter Poison Brock. You! What?! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. How?! <laughs> Walter did it the whole time. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't watch this. Don't watch Yo. this yet. This, this is... <laughs> Season five is nuts. Don't no, don't get okay, to this okay, yet, because okay. you have a lot more questions once we get All to right. that. You talk about this real quick. I'll be back. Yeah, good episode. We started with uh, Jesse and Walter talking about the bomb. He carried it through the hospital, which was funny. They make a deal with Salamanca, and then they go to the uh, DEA, and he just swears at them, which is funny. <laughs> and then <laughs> we so find, and then we have the big thing of the like probably the like I've seen this everywhere. The, yeah, so before beforehand, um, the whole bomb scene, it's hard to avoid on Twitter. That's like also the... like Corridor Crew talks about it all the time when they're breaking down CGI. They use this as an example. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. So this hard is this scene is was hard to stay away from. I mm -hmm. knew us going into this show. I knew the scene. Was hard but I well. loved the setup to it. Yeah. The just... the whole dramatic uh, build up to yeah. Gus going to find three kill minutes Hector. of just him just like just, taking just it just in, going there. He's gonna give him his lethal injection and that yeah. bomb explosion. That makeup alone was mm -hmm. nuts. Yeah. This explosion is crazy. And then he just walks. Out. Oh, oh yeah it's a little bit this too side face. yeah <laughs> this side of them listen if they want to get someone to play two-face yeah <laughs> yeah that's just perfect yeah i mean he also d plays two people technically yeah he plays gustavo fring and gus Go yeah two two very different people yeah. you got the very polite and respectful one yeah and that. you can see the eye muscles moving which is crazy oh yeah i imagine that took forever <laughs> to make and that. the what's left of his ear. 
<laughs> looks like Shrek. And it's really cool because um, I think most of season four and most of season five, they did all behind the scenes sessions. This whole finale was just nuts. And the fact, like, it's uh, like I said earlier, <laughs> you had to wait a year <laughs> after yeah, this happened. Crazy. Next season is um, way more insane than this one. He manipulated Jesse into getting his side by poisoning Brock. Yeah, that changes a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's that it's that happy ending, and then it gives you, oh, he poisoned them. How, though? I don't understand how he got it into... There is a line, um, uh, Vince Gilligan did break down how he could, how he would have done it. Okay. Like, he has, like, he, because that's the most common question, is how did Walter do it? Yeah. And from what... Because he only saw him. Either way, I have questions, because if Gus knows about the ricin, how does he know about the ricin? Like... Because the rice is gone? Yeah. Like, how how would... If the sequence of events was Gus found out about the rice and took the rice and from his jacket while he was cooking, um, like, how, how did he know about that? And then, how did he know, or how did he get it to Brock? And then this, it's how did uh, Walter, Walter get to Brock? Lily Valley, Lily Valley to Brock? Yeah. So, from what I've heard, he... I can't remember the full thing, but, um... Vince Gilligan said Walter used his, because of his pr prior to being a teacher and whatnot, mm -hmm. he made his way into trying to figure out who Brock was, found a Brock school, and s I can't, I, this, I, like I said, that's okay. the part I remember, yeah. but the rest is fuzzy of what he said, but he broke down that he used his teacher, school already knew him as a teacher, got his way in, and I made it to Brock with it, and Little Berries. I can't, like I said, that's, that's the, I don't remember the full thing what he said but it's okay. vaguely that but he or, there, there's a there's a video of him breaking it down or it's just like a giant coincidence <laughs> giant coincidence that's how i'm like, gonna explain and because, it. <laughs> because 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 i don't know do you remember end times when he's sitting there with the gun mm -hmm. he keeps spinning it and it points to the lily of the valley yeah and then it was funny because um sam watched this uh -huh. and he didn't know. He didn't pick up on that. That was Lily the Valley. So he thought it just ended all ha like the happiness stuff all like happy. that. All happy. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, then I'm like, how do you feel about Walter poisoning poisoning Brock? And then he's like, he did. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's what I said at the end. Like, he poisoned Brock. And he's like, oh, I actually thought well, I actually thought Gus did it. Hmm. <laughs> because Walter's very convincing that Gus did it. Yeah. In that last episode with that whole fight they had about it, Jesse mm. was right. He poisoned them. That's such a crazy place to end the season. And I assume they move on and Jesse does not find out. And it's like, um, now at this point, you're, it's going to be like, basically what that signifies is Walter villain of the show now. Yeah. So now he's, I mean, he's kind of been a villain. Yeah. But now he is so. the villain. Mm. And I like the shift between how him and Jesse have changed throughout the seasons. Yeah. Vince Gilligan worded it, you know, see it from Mr. Rogers, turn it to Scarface. Yeah. And actually, this is a good question. How do you feel about Walter now? This is a common um, question people ask. There's a few, actually, there's a few times I'm going to ask you throughout this next season of how you feel about Walter, because this is a common question about the fans of how do you feel about Walter? What do you, what's your thoughts about him right now as a person? What do you, what's your... Oh, I don't think he's a good person. <laughs> I don't think he's been a good person since... He let Jane die? Uh, yeah. Because I remember you brought something up about that when after Jane died. Yeah. That he seems like he's turning more into a villain. It's kind of like he hasn't been a good person since he started cooking. Right? Yeah. Cause he like, had, like, the right motives mm -hmm. in the beginning. Now he's just doing it just to do it. Because, like, oh, he had to provide for his family. Yeah, but, like, the meth, what does that do to people? Yeah. Right? It's a drug. It's not good for you. But he's doing it anyway. So... He has been on a gradual decline in terms of moral standing. It's crazy. But he's still interesting. Yeah, he's... Like, he's, that's a, kind of the point. Yeah, that's... that's It's the weird thing is with him is, like, you're, like, he's such an asshole, but you're rooting for him at the same time. Like, there's yeah. a part of you that's rooting... And the interesting thing is, too, especially with him and Gus's dynamic, too, especially, how the villains here, it, like, has you rooting for them... But you're supposed to hate them. It's it's so like conflicting. Like with mm -hmm. Gus with the cartel, you're rooting for Gus to kill him. 
Yeah. But then Gus is like a psycho <laughs> at the yeah. same time. It might be my favorite so far. That's season it. four. Oh yeah. I, I the, Season four and season five are easily the best. And especially like all the writing and stuff like that and the slow burn and the tension. The tension just keeps you intrigued of what's going to happen. What's going to happen. What's going to happen. And the slow cliffhangers they just keep leaving you on. Mike is still in the hospital. Yeah. That's going to be crazy when it wakes up. Yeah. I, I'm very curious. Like even the first frame of the next season, I'm curious what you're going to say about it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's because that's why I had you stop it immediately because mm. you're gonna have way more questions if you would have continued that. Mm. So yeah, season four. Uh, if you guys love the video, like, comment, subscribe. Season five coming eventually. And uh, yeah, peace.